Hello beautiful family, the 11th of June in the year 2022 and I'm, Lord, Lord I just pray that you remove all trace of Satan off my camera in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you Lord Jesus, Amen. Uh, so I'm walking back with the uh, speaker, uh, instead of getting a taxi I thought I'd walk back so I could do you a video and I've just done a video and it just got wiped off. So that's why I'm praying more and more that Satan will not have any any say in the matter of my videos. I'm sick of it. It upsets me so much. And he knows it, and that's why he does it. So, uh, Lord God, I pray you protect my device from all evil in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so, it's the 11th of June, and I've just come back from preaching... And I know that Jesus Christ is about to come. He's, he's about to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. And he's going to gather up into heaven all who ever died believing in Jesus because they're going to get resurrected. And all believers which are alive and remain are going to be caught up into the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture. And so shall we ever be with the Lord and then this world is going to be turned upside down during the Great Tribulation, Apocalypse, Revelation period. It's going to be so horrible. So if you haven't believed on Jesus, please believe on him today. It's not about religion. It doesn't matter what you've done. It's about having some faith, believing that Jesus, yes, Jesus is the Son of God. Yes, Jesus did die on the cross for all our sins, past, present and future sins. He was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the blessed everlasting gospel. And when you believe it in your heart and you know it's true that Jesus did that for you and you're not ashamed or afraid to, to call upon Jesus, confess him as Lord, whatever you say to him, Forgive me, Lord. Come into my life, Lord. Whatever. Just say, Lord, he's your Lord. And boom, you'll be saved. Saved, sealed, sanctified, justified, heaven bound, rapture ready. You'll have a one-way ticket to heaven. And now, if anybody tells you that there's any other requirements to your salvation, other than you believing on what Jesus did, then turn away from them, people. Because they're preaching false doctrine. They're teaching false doctrine. Lots of people want to make it so hard. It's, it's as if they don't want people to enter the kingdom of God. Because they give all these requirements. And uh, things that people have to do. Um, I mean, you can say, you must repent. You, you can say, uh, you must be born again. Um, you must believe you know, all this. Well, it's all cap captured in just believe. Just believe. Just believe, that's it. And when you do believe that Jesus died for you on the cross and shed his blood, and, and it's for you, and you know in your heart, you know it's true that he rose again from the dead, and you simply say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, you will be saved. That's the honest truth, straight from God. Right? That's straight from his word. And if anybody adds anything else to it, then please turn away from those people or, or correct them. Show them how many, how many scriptures just say about being justified and saved by faith alone. By God's grace, through our faith in Jesus. And it's not of ourselves meaning we don't work for it or earn it. It's the free gift of God. It's something you can't earn. It's free. It's free. God chooses to... Who, whoever he wants to give it to, he will give. Whoever asks and believes on him, that's it. Um, it's the free, good of God, free gift, of, gift of God, not by our own good works. Not by our works. It's not of works, lest any man should boast. So there you go. It's not not by anything we must do apart from believe on what Jesus did. And uh, ooh, today 
you might not have seen it on camera, but I had people, they know the camera's there, so they stand to the side and left and right. And uh, the, the, how do you say it, the vitriol and the hatred, ooh, it was rife today, but it didn't move me at all. I'm so used to it, um, I just expect it, you know, I do. What it used to do is people would wind down the window of the car and say, Hey, you, you, you whatever, you know? And now I, I just ignore it and just carry on preaching. I just think, you're wasting my time. I'm going to preach the gospel, you know? But the thing is, when I'm on my own, um, I haven't got anybody to... Uh, I haven't got anybody I, I can send people to who know the truth who want people to be saved, all people to be saved, who have the love of God in them, to give out tracts, and have a smile on their face, and want people to be saved. I, I just, I need somebody like that. And, uh, and listen, it, if you can't, wouldn't be able to do that, that's not a problem, because it's not everybody's calling to hand out tracts and stuff like that. There's different callings for each and every one of us. Because we, each of us made in the image of God we are, and we're all unique, and God thinks of us all equally, his love for us is equal, and we each have a ministry, be big or small, doesn't matter, we each have a ministry, all born again believers, we've each been given a talent to use. And I encourage you to use it boldly, especially now, because we are about to leave this world. The tribulation is about to start. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. And I pray, Heavenly Father, you bless them. Hold on, let me put this down. Dear loving Heavenly Father, thank you for them all. Thank you for all the beautiful prayers. Well, I pray you bless them richly and abundantly. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray you make your beautiful face shine upon them, Lord God. Make it shine, Jesus, shine. Be gracious unto them, Lord. Lord, lift up the strength and power and health of your countenance upon them and give them peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, remind them that greater is the one who's in them than the one that's in the world. Remind them that they can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us and there's nothing the things that are impossible with men are possible with God so whatever you're facing God is bigger he is so don't forget he's promised he's never gonna leave you once you believed on him that's it you belong to him the Bible says you don't belong to yourself anymore so um, I'm gonna get off now uh, these days just look beautiful, don't they? This looks so, like snow across the thing, I don't know. They're beautiful. So, so beautiful. Uh, God has opened my eyes to just how beautiful His creation is. Just think how much more beautiful heaven is. Absolutely. Well, I don't know. But I just know it's much more beautiful than this place. That's what I know. And I have had a few fl flash... Uh, night visions and uh, vision dreams of uh, I believe I was in paradise absolutely I believe I was in paradise um, I, but I'll tell you a little story I was in this dream I think I was in paradise I went into a, a field and I didn't see these two ginormous lions maybe ten, size, 10 times the size of normal lions, they were standing on top of the hill. I never noticed them. They came to stand on top of the hill. And then I turned around and looked at them, and I, oh my word, like this. I was so frightened. I, so I just turned my back. And I saw them coming, running down the hill towards me, and I, I turned my back. I was absolutely terrified, and then nothing happened. And I looked back, and they'd just gone. Then I met what I think is an angel who was only wearing a white cloth around his uh, um, pelvis and stuff. 
and he took me around this beautiful place. I, 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 I swam through swamps and uh, it was beautiful. He showed me like something that looked like a little palace. Um, he showed me that. The Lord is my witness, I lie not, and I believe this place, this place was paradise. Listen, I'm going to get off before, uh, I, for some reason, he's saying that I don't have enough storage, so the video could go off at any time. So, the Lord will bless you indeed, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Always thank Jesus after you've prayed. It's almost like saying, um, thank you, Lord Jesus. I know you're going to answer. I know that's faith knowing God is going to answer your prayers. Just know he will. You know? God bless you guys. I, I love you very much. I just wanted to do you this quick video. And t today I just know by the complete rejection of, of God on people's faces and attitude that we are at the end. We are. We are at the end. I, I, I saw so much, so much uh, hatred and stuff. It didn't move me, but I saw a lot of it today. Sheer hatred against God. And, um, really, the Antichrist spirit is rising in people. I know we're at the end. I know we are. I don't care what anyone says. We're at the end. And all things... You know, I don't like to use the word so much, but the sh will is about to hit the fan. The shit is about to hit the fan. <laughs> well, it is big time, but first we're going up, and that's what I believe. Any moment now, any moment, any moment, we've been so discouraged from waiting and waiting. I think very soon we're gonna get get the end of our faith, the complete redemption of our bodies. Uh, it's going to be wonderful. So, I'll get off, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your prayers today. Oh, they made such a difference. I could tell. I knew I'd been prayed for by somebody. I don't know. Uh, well, no, I do know. I do know I was prayed for because suddenly I became all on fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, all of you who prayed. Thank you for you who... It, only if you can s support the... Uh, with the cash app or paper thank you who've donated i don't expect anybody to donate unless they they've got ha, they have got the spare money that's all um and it's and it's for tickets it's for bibles it's for gospel tracks which I've, I've got to get a whole load of new ones um i left nine of my small bibles with philip um i left a, a few packets of gospel small gospel tracks with him so he can have them it's all right uh, but i just need to get some more but um i should be all right I, uh, I got paid today as well my own benefit money so i just blend that in with the two so i'll get i'll order some today anyway thank you guys i love you loads can't wait to be with you all it's gonna be wonderful so yeah hallelujah it's gonna be awesome don't be afraid don't be ashamed Sing to the Lord a new song. Leap for joy when you're persecuted because we're leaving this world. We're leaving it all behind and we're going to a new place which is going to blow our minds with wonders. Right, guys, I'm going. I love you. I love you very much.